Hello everyone, this is an overview video of the gas valve shutoff module that you have purchased for your Firebot. And this has either come with the product or you can buy it as a module afterwards and retrofit it to your Firebot. What we have right here is the gas valve circuit board module, the smart switch, the power supply, solenoid, and then we have the gas line and adapters. And then right here on the end, you have the pipe seal and tape. This is to join the parts together without them leaking. First step is going to be to remove the circuit board from your Firebot. Take the circuit board from the gas valve shutoff. You're going to connect that into the Firebot circuit board. Next step, take the smart switch and plug it into any wall outlet. Hold down the on off button until the light's flashing to put it in programming mode. Once the smart switch is in programming mode, Come over to the circuit board and press the white gas on button. This is going to initiate the pairing between the two devices. You see the multiple flashes. That indicates a successful pairing. Once the circuit board and the smart switch are paired together, you can confirm this by pressing the off and on button, and this will turn the smart switch on or off. Reinsert the circuit board back into the Firebot housing. Tuck the wires in. Place your cover back onto the Firebot, and now we're ready to go to the next step of installing the solenoid. Next step, you're going to pull out the stove. You're going to pull the grates off, if you can. This next step, you're going to need to shut your gas line off. Turn the knob perpendicular with your gas line. Then you're going to take a wrench and remove the gas line from your gas. Next, you're going to take your fittings for this half inch gas line. You're actually going to take the hose and connect it directly to the fitting. Take the pipe seal and tape and apply that to both the ends of the adapters that are going to go into the solenoid. It's important to wrap this in the opposite direction in which you're going to thread it into the solenoid. Just so that way the tape doesn't peel itself off. Be sure that you don't grab onto this when tightening. Make sure you're grabbing onto this when you're tightening. Now you're going to take the solenoid and connect it to the flexible line that you installed. Next, connect the oven hose line to the other end of the solenoid. It's important to check on the solenoid, the arrow is in the direction of the flow towards the oven. If it's installed backwards, the device will not work. Next, take your smart switch and plug that into the wall. Make sure it turns on and off. Next, take the power supply, plug that into the wall plug. Take the other end of the power supply connector and connect that to the solenoid. Once you plug in the power supply, Press the on-off button to make sure the solenoid works. You're going to hear a click indicating that it's working. Turn it off. After you're done testing the solenoid, use a gas leak detection liquid. Turn your gas line back on, and you're going to spray that on the joints to make sure there's no gas leaks. Typical gas leak can be seen by bubbles forming around the threads. Slide the stove back into place. Your install is now finished. 